We are Nate and Allie of Better Together Adventures, and we want to encourage you to get outside and ride. It's been a while since we've been on, so um, we got a couple new things for this year. Well, one new thing, one big new thing. In case you haven't noticed, uh, Nate's riding a new bike. Yes, I am. We've uh, we've been talking a little bit about getting me something else to ride. I really enjoy my SV, but um, she's starting to starting to get a little old. So we uh, we were looking around one day and. We decided to buy me a brand new leftover 2023 Yamaha Super Tenere. And uh, we'll be showing her a little bit more. We'll do a video on her and, and uh, maybe you guys can help us pick a name out for her. So today, well not today, but during this video, um, we rode to Akeley, Minnesota. And Akeley is on the Lake County Scenic Byway. It's on Highway 34 and 64. 185 miles total round trip for us. Yeah. So we went up and ate at Zappi's Cafe and then uh, headed on over to the Akeley Paul Bunyan Historical Museum. Yeah, we a uh, couple little shops in between. It's a cute little town. Um, one was kind of a kind of a vintage stereo equipment records kind of thrift shop neat little place and then another one was a real nice older lady that uh, had mainly all handcrafted local like crocheted blankets and quilts and yeah, and there was t-shirts t-shirts different yeah. things screen printed on them yeah so super cute so there's paul bunyan days that's the last weekend in june they also have a fishing contest in february all kinds of neat little things to do and see some really nice campgrounds in the area. Yep, the one I thought that was really neat, a bit south of there on 65, it's called RV There Yet. <laughs> I thought that was a really neat spin on uh, on the phrase of are we there yet? Yeah. Instead it's RV. And that was a real just basic campground. I think they just had primitive hookup sites. Well, they had one section that said it was primitive. I, I don't know what else they have there. Yeah. So if you're in the area, some great lakes, really nice fish in the town of Nevis. Nevis isn't far away. And um, yeah, some really, really cool things to do in the area. We have made it to Akeley, Minnesota, and uh, gonna go check out the Paul Bunyan Museum. So the Akeley um, Historical Museum, it's called the Paul Bunyan Historical Museum, 
And I think it's called that because Paul Bunyan is supposed to be the birthplace of Paul Bunyan. Yep, that's what their claim is. Yep. So the museum was opened in 1984, and it's basically just a lot of memorabilia and artifacts that they found in the area or articles about the... um, Local history. Yeah, local history. So they have a lot of Paul Bunyan stuff, obviously. But they also have a lot of um, things for the sawmill. So the sawmill was there... um, and at its height, it was 3,000 population, 3,000 to 4,000 people. And so this is just basically all the photos of the area. Some things that were donated by the community. What I thought was kind of cool, which I always like looking through, I've seen this at a few places around here, is you can see in the video on the wall there, they've got the graduating classes from every high school year from I think starting back in the early 50s or something like that all the way up till like 1990 I think it was or 88 so that was kind of neat because it's fun seeing all the different I enjoy seeing like the hairstyles and the what people wore yeah you know for clothing yeah you could definitely tell like the 80s (laughs) (laughs) a lot of big hair on those pictures oh it's a free museum it is um basically all donation only so if you do stop by, leave them a few bucks, and uh, there's a really nice lady. She'll give you a little bit of the history of the place and some of the um, different artifacts and who they were donated by. So, so, so that was just Paul Bunyan there, and they claim that that is the largest Paul Bunyan statue in the world. You can sit in his hand. <laughs> Just watch out for his fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Light me up, don't you stop. Cause tonight, it's on the line. Show me how you get on down. Close my eyes, take me for a ride. heading into Pequot Lakes and uh, Pequot's another little town we'll have to kind of do a little bit about the history of it I don't know if you guys noticed in the video but there's a giant bobber for its water tower and uh, it's kind of funny because coming up you can see uh, Nate goes the wrong way and the one way (laughs) (laughs) yeah I should have noticed the one way sign before I turned but who would have thought that Pequot would have a one way yeah. but yeah stop by and had some ice cream and uh yeah i was squirreled by the ice cream so. i think that's what did it and no you were squirreled by the shoes there was a clearance for shoes and that's what you got squirreled oh that's by. right yeah the big tubs of crocs out front <laughs> what... then we got squirreled by ice cream and we skipped the shoes yeah so we the ice cream's better than the shoes anyways yeah 
And that was really good ice cream, so... Yeah, and the ice cream they sell there is a brand out of Duluth. And I forget the name of it right now. Yeah, that was, but it's, that was really it's, good. Yeah, they call it a premium ice cream. It's hand-scooped, so... Yeah, nice, cute little ice cream shop there. So that was fun. Nice yeah. little snack on the way home. Yeah, and outside the front of the building is a big, giant bush of peonies which I will always get excited over seeing. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe. We thank you very much for um, watching and thank you for your time. And hopefully you'll come along this year on more adventures. I know last year we didn't do much, so had some little bit of health issues and I'm feeling a lot better. And you got some work done around the house. Yep, so we'll get out and do some more riding. Oops. Don't go down the one way. <laughs> <laughs> time to test my U-turn skills on the new bike. All right, guys, until next time, get outside and ride. Thank you.